What's up, ladies and all gentlemen? My name is Destroy, and welcome back to my summer card. This is episode number 25. Yes, if you watched the last episode, you would have seen that. Uh, what do we do in episode 24? We stole the Roscoe, we boosted that, we dumped that in the lake so we can kill the wasp nest. So, um, and I actually, yeah, I did, I showed that on camera, but off camera, I uh, teleported it to here. So, you know. Grand reveal in a few seconds. Uh, what else did we do in the last episode? We caused some chaos with the rally because we ended up ditching the uh, the tractor that was on its sides. Uh, off camera, I also got that up on its wheels, so that is ready to go. I actually tried um, towing it with the truck, the Gifu. Uh, so, because it was on its side, I connected the towing hook, the towing rope, drove about half a meter. And it got up on its wheels, but then the rope snapped, and I'm like, great. So I reversed back, got a little bit closer this time, connected the rope once again, went about another half a meter off the road, and it snapped again. So the tractor clearly doesn't like being uh, being towed, but if we look to our left here, there's the Roscoe. And the, I can confirm that the wasps are dead, so we'll jump in. Look at the interior of this. There's the wasp there. Well, the nest. Um, and here's the ignition, but of course we cannot start the car because I don't have any tools on me because you need a screwdriver, unless you win it. I mean, we'd still win it anyway. Um, but then you get the keys, obviously. Actually, I just want to quickly check the time. It should, Timo should be open. Yeah, it's 10.30 a.m., so... Cool! And it was quite fun uh, trying to recover the tractor. Well, attempting to recover the tractor with the Gifu. Because the rally was still on, because it was Sunday. But hey, Timo! Well, well, good day for you too, Glumpsy. Eh? How you doing, bro? Ah, just checking my bars there. Uh, okay, we got. I'm gonna buy your milk, bro. And uh, no sugar, because I bought them all. The economic regression. <laughs> you mean recession, bro? You get quite bad. I might need to discount sausage. Oh, actually. Yeah, 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 bro. I want to check if I've got any ciggies. I do not. Okay. Uh, I better buy some. Oops. I've got about 40,000 packets at home, but... You watch. You'll put this single packet of, packet of smokes in a bag. What? Bro, you don't need to do that, okay? Say hi to your wife for me. And your mum. Cheerio. Anyway, so in today's video, I want to get this... Actually, what am I doing? <laughs> the reason... Because I need diesel as well. God, I keep getting sidetracked in this game. It always happens. Definitely need diesel in that. And this has got... Barely any gas in it. Gasoline. Come on, get in, bro. Ooh. Actually, that looks... That looks empty, man. So we're going to fill these up. Now, I'll fill this up first because it won't take anywhere near as long as that freaking Gifu. Actually, have I? I've done one job, haven't I? From memory, yeah. So I've got one job's worth in there. Alright, let's fill her up. Hopefully she reaches. Yep. Okay, we had a tiny little sliver of gasoline in there. Whatever, that's fine. I'm going to get this full. Uh, then for the rest of the video, I would like to... Mm, thinking if I want to get this home, which I kind of do, but I also want to get the tractor home. So after I fill this, after I fill the truck, um, I'm obviously going to cut the video when I fill the truck because that takes about 15 minutes of real time. It's absolutely ridiculous. Well, not not really. I that's a bit, bit of an exaggeration. It's more like seven or eight minutes, but it's still crazy time just to stand there and fill your truck up. But um, yes, yeah, so I'll be cutting that out. And then I think I'll try towing this home, but if you've been watching the playthrough so far, I've had a bit of bad luck with um, towing vehicles. They keep seeming to... Oh, that's another thing I could do, actually, while I'm out and about, is get that uh, that wreck over to Fleet Ari's earn some more money. I think it's only worth around 2000 but uh, but yeah, like I said, I'm going to cut the video here. And uh, yeah, I guess we'll pick it up with the wreck. Seriously, dude, this... This would not take this long in real life. You know what? I'm actually going to cut it off there because I honestly can't be bothered waiting right now to fill this up. I know that sounds a bit crazy, but I'll just come up here and grab the freaking 
what do you call it? You know what? I forgot I bought this milk as well, so. We're gonna have a quick drink. Yo, bus driver, scumbag, cocksucker. Catch this for me, buddy. <laughs> Just glitches straight through the through the bus like it's not even there. I love it. Uh, yeah, so the plan is I'm gonna attach that, or attempt to uh, attach the Rusco to the truck. Bash. Um, actually, I better pay for the fuel before Timo rings us up later and goes, Oh, you thief! 526 mark, mate. Put this under, what, half a tank of uh, diesel. Whoops. And uh, a full tank in the Rusco. I can't remember what car, like real life car, the Rusco is based off. If you know in the comments, let me know. I can't remember. I can avoid, I'm just trying to push this back a bit because I guess the plan is to jump in the truck, obviously. Actually, let's get that going. Because it can take ages to warm up these days. Um, yeah, push this back a little bit more, then come in, reverse the truck in, connect there. And I'm going to head towards Fleetaris and keep a lookout for where that wreck is. Because when it fell off, I had no idea. I actually don't know where it is. Because honestly, I forgot all about the wreck until about five minutes ago. But uh, come on. Are you ready? Oh, yeah. Whee. <laughs> That's what happens when you're not in driving mode. Ah, yeah. My seats. I'm going to have to put them back in. But that'll be for the end game. You can just stay there, I guess. What do we got here? This is random. We've got three beers. Some brake fluid. Dot four. Only the best. No, stand up, bro. Stand up, stand up, stand up. There we go. We've got some stupid salty chips, which is fine. Ah, some two-stroke. Hmm. Hmm, I might, I might keep them there for now. Okay, this should be good to go. Because you need to let it idle, warm up a bit. Before you can start moving her, or else she's just going to conk out. Stall. Right. Let's, uh, let's see if we can move now. Should be alright. Yeah. Just, it's barely moving, look at that, it's bunny hopping. It's like a kangaroo. The truck knows it's, a, it's an Aussie driving it, you see. Now, I better not stay here for too long or else the bus driver's just going to run straight into me. Because he's a cocksucker, aren't you? Hey. Anyway, back at the task at hand. Come on. God, this truck is really struggling today. What's going on? I think that might be close enough. Jump out and have a look. Did I close? Yeah, I did. <laughs> oh man, when I first started playing this game years ago, I always had a habit of leaving fuel caps off and stuff. It was a slow depletion, but it still depletes eventually, so... Right, you. Where's your towing hook? Please tell me how one at the front. Thank you. I had a feeling then there was only one at the rear then, at the back. Enter at the rear. Right, that air pressure warning's still going. Oh, hang on. Let's lower that. Better put my seatbelt on just in case. All right, let's go. Hopefully we don't lose that car. Wow, this is super slow today. Come on. Okay, we got it. Just. There we go. Air pressure is pissed off. He's going to come right at me. There we go. Nice turning, buddy. <laughs> See his arm there on the steering wheel? Wow. What a clown. Ah. <sighs> That guy needs to start pooping a bit more. Alright, so yeah, the plan, yes. Like I said, we'll go down, we'll head towards the Tari. I'm going to try and keep an eye out. Have we still got a car? Yes, we do. Um, keep an eye out for the wreck. It's only the, uh, what's it, the Satsuma wreck, so it's only quite small. Um, and then that'll be three wrecks, and then I think there's four in the game, and the other wreck is like, sort of like a longer car. And I think it's a bit blue. Like there's blue tinges to the to the wreck, I think. From memory. Don't you dare drag me down there, dude. That's why I'm trying to stick to the right hand side here. It's starting to struggle even more. Come on, bro. So yeah, try and find the wreck. Um, 
and then see going about dropping that off at Flutaris, get some more money. I think it's around about 1800 or 2000 mark you get for that one. But it's not super rare because it's only small. Plus, Flutari does, a, does have a hate for Japanese cars. He likes American muscle cars. Hence, the Fernda. Jeez, now, now this car's on its side. Oh dear, as long as I've still got it. Oh, look at that. <laughs> oh, man. Well, hang on. Please tell me I've still got a car. Yep. Struggle City. Right. So, yeah, the, honestly, I have no idea where the wreck is. I know I could kind of cheat and just use the editor and teleport it to Fleetaris, but what's the fun in that? I wonder if we'll run into Pina as well. Oh, by the way, off camera, I did. I sideswiped him. Because uh, I was kind of half expected to see the cops when I loaded the game, loaded the game back in to get us to get me to Monday. Um, but don't fall off. But yeah, it was only a side swipe. It wasn't a head-on or anything like that. So I figured he was still alive. But hey, it's my summer car. If, gonna, if, if the game's going to nail you, it's going to do it. You know, at any given opportunity. So right. So I'm not paying attention. I need to look out for. Um, Dude. Um. Oh, I've lost the car. Have I? No. No, I haven't. It's just being a son of a bitch and wouldn't show itself. And we're home. Nearly. Ah. Uh. Pretty thankful. Uh, wait, do I? So, okay, <laughs> I was going to say I'm pretty thankful I've still got the car at the back, and then I couldn't see it for a second. But anyway, we are home. We are safe. It's on its wheels, thankfully. Neutral. Turn you off. Take off the seatbelt. Get out of driving mode. Get out of the truck. Okay. Right. Remove, please. Thank you very much. All right. Hey, baby. While I'm here, I might quickly check the uh, coolant level. I'm really paranoid about the coolant level of this car, man. Playing my summer car these days. Okay. Eh. That's... That's okay. Actually, I remember off camera I did feel that, um, so I don't know where a, a tiny little bit has depleted. Actually, you know what? Why I'm here, uh, I might just quickly, what do you call it? Double check the screws on the hoses. Um, what are you doing? Pick it up. Thank you. Because you never know with this game, man. Okay, that's tight. Tight. Come on, bro. Tight. Tight. Okay, well, they're all tight, so... Now, while I've got the... Actually, I have to unequip that. While I put the... The fiberglass hood back on. Or as I call them. A bonnet. I think the bomb, uh, the pom's called a bonnet as well. I think it's only Americans and stuff, and some other European. I say other European, but apart from the pom's, I mean people from England. Um, other Euros, they call it a bonnet, uh, a hood as well, because they like to follow America. You know, that old chestnut. Anyway, let's equip this again, and we'll turn this beast over. Oh man, this thing is quite dangerous to drive actually, because there's no seatbelt and stuff, so. Look at the action on the window. What? It still winds down. I love it. It winds down into thin air. Hey, get it? Thin air. We're playing a Finnish simulator. I do apologize. It is quite late recording this. Well, should I say early? It's about 5 a.m. Not long got home from work. Working the night shift, baby. So I am a little delirious, but it's okay. Anyway, so... Let's start her. 
actually. That that doesn't matter. Um why isn't this starting? Don't tell me he's like made things break in this. Don't you dare. Can you open the bonnet? Okay, you can't open the bonnet, which means there's nothing in the engine that can break because that would be a real bastard thing to do if you made the car break or whatever, like an engine part, and you couldn't, you, like, you had no way to fix it. Why don't you. Okay. Hang on. I just noticed my stress. <laughs> that just red barred out of nowhere. Well, I didn't notice it. Dude, get out of the freaking car. Right. Holy macaron, macaroni? Macaroni? I went to say mackerel and macaroni at the same time. Okay, so I'm making up words. Cool. Yeah, I don't know why that's... Uh, maybe Topless Gunner's tweaked with that, because it has been quite a while since I've even, you know, driven the bloody Rusko, so... And the way Topless Gun loves to put in changes and updates and all that sort of stuff to the game, I'm not telling you. That's just Topless Gun, that's just the way it is. Now, have I got... I think I've got someone in this barrel, yeah? Oh, yes. Empty coolant bottle. You shall burn. A quick dart, quick piss. Ah, so it'll be like Monday afternoon by now, surely. Probably took us about two hours to get home, hauling the bloody car back. There we go, one smoke down. Actually, we might have another real quick. Just want to get rid of all of that stress. Stress is not good. Not good for you, man. In video games or real life. Ah. <sighs> As you can see, I tried to neatly place these car parts. I don't know why. Maybe it's the OCD in me. <laughs> but normally when you save the game and load back in, if you got something in a neat pile like that, like the grill, for example, would be over there and <laughs> the back panel would be on the driveway. It's just ridiculous. The game just throws things around. Alright, come on. One more drag, bro. And I think we'll be good. Yep. Okay. We're thirsty, though. But that will not be a problem. We'll close that. We'll jump in. We'll actually plug the phone in and run into the wall. See, this is exactly what I was talking about. The game just throws my battery boxes all over the freaking place. <laughs> Why, man? See all my smokes at home? Didn't need any, but well, I did at the time. But if it was at home, I wouldn't have bought, haven't, wouldn't have had to buy any more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine packets of smokes. Right, have a drink. I think the only food we got is chips. We have to wait for yeah till Thursday. Restock day. Actually, no, we don't. I'm pretty sure Timo had um, sausages and stuff there. Okay, so I'm going to have another quick drink, and might have a shower. Actually, what time is it? 4pm. Hmm. Our fatigue's not too... Dude, stop walking in the walls, bro. Right. Hmm, 4pm. Our fatigue's not too bad. I'm thinking about maybe actually heading down towards the tractor, or going to where the tractor is, and trying to recover that. Um... Because last time I tried to recover it with the truck, it just didn't want a bar of it. Uh, so I'm thinking about maybe jumping on the moped. Maybe. Because uh, I don't think I've shown on camera me driving the moped. <laughs> Which I absolutely hate. I've shown my disgust for the moped a few occasions on camera, I'm pretty sure. Now, before I forget, I'm going to grab this and go Hadouken. Actually, no, you know what I, you know what I quickly want to do. I've already got it equipped. Is see if this thing will actually start. Is it drivable in this state? I have no idea. Right. Hopefully my character's stress doesn't go up. Okay. There we go. I'm going to at least try and move it out the way and park it maybe up there or something. Don't you dig? 
Bloody stole on me, bro. Come on. Actually, where am I going? I'm gonna reverse up here. And you're gonna stall. I knew it. Come on. <laughs> Is that three love hearts on the steering wheel there? Nah. I thought it was three love hearts. Okay, that'll do. You know what? That'll do, bro. <laughs> right, at least I know that it does run. It starts and it runs. That is fine, even though it looks like it's seen better days. Has it always normally been this damaged? Like I said, it's been quite a while, like a matter of years since I've actually driven that, so. Right, moped, you son of a bitch moped, where are you? Come here. No, don't. I don't want to do anything with... Whatever. <laughs> I just want to pick it up. There we go. Right. This thing is stupid loud as well. At least the kickstand is out, so that should be fine. Now, where's the helmet? Is it in the van? I think I remember it being in the van. Okay. Because if you ride this thing without the helmet, you are going to be in for a bad time. Okay, let's mount the bike. Or moped. Alright, uh, actually that fuel tap, I can't see properly. Where is it? Where's it going? Where's the... F there it is. Wait, no, I can't see it. I'm assuming that's ready to go. Let's test it. Okay. Lift the kickstand. Hopefully you guys can hear me all right over the bloody audio. The game audio, that is. All right. Let's attempt to grab the track. Oh my God, turn. He's like tap steering. Obviously, is the worst thing ever. But you can barely see with the bloody helmet on. Oh man. Alright. Well, considering this is so freaking loud, what I might do is cut the video and I'll pick it back up when I get to the tractor. Dude, I'm losing it. Anyway, I'll admit that, that was actually fun. I'm gonna just do that. Um, get out of driving mode. Take the freaking helmet. I think the worst part is having the helmet on. Just the reduced uh, vision and um, what do you call it? Uh, audio like hearing you can hardly hear anything but you know what I might actually if I can put this in my backpack <gasps> oh no I can't I can't put the moped in my backpack so I can accidentally put my bloody car in the backpack but not this uh, you know what doesn't really matter next time we swing by in the van I will uh, what do you call it pick that in the helmet up actually I'll bring the helmet with me now. Alright. You, you bastard tractor. Although you did, you did, like, for you, bloody rolling over your side, actually it had caused a little bit of entertainment for me, so that was kind of good. But anyway, let's see if we can get the tractor home. I was thinking as well, a bit of hand throttle for the win. Alright, uh, I was thinking of doing that, because I have to. <laughs> uh, did I plug the phone in? I can't even remember, but if I haven't, I'm thinking about plugging the phone in when we get home and seeing if Kill Your Guy would give us a buzz to go pick him up. It's actually been quite a while. It's been almost like three weeks of in game time since he's rang me, so, and that is quite a while for that. Yeah, wrong key again. Uh, the benefits of recording video games when you've been working on it. Good times. But, uh, yeah, so I'm thinking about doing that. So what I might do is get myself home. Um, actually, what time is it? I should have enough fatigue to get to sleep. Like, sleep through the night, I mean. With a chance of being woken up by the phone. Hashtag no train, bro. No. I haven't seen a train for a while either, but whatever. So yeah, I guess that's the plan. We'll, I'll get myself home. Fingers crossed, kill you guy will give me a buzz. We can give him another lift. There he is out speaking of. Hey, buddy. 
And boosh. Fantastic. So I'm gonna turn that right here. Well, it's a bit loud. Okay, hand throttle, ignition, parking brake. All right, let's get out. Ah, this is actually a rare my summer car video, to be honest, because well, there's three things I want to get done in this video and I've and I've done two of them so I've managed to get the Rusco home safe and sound uh, full tank of gasoline as well and I've recovered the tractor so that were the two main things I wanted to do in this video and it's happened <laughs> now the third thing is right so I did plug the phone in is to get kill you guy to give me a buzz tomorrow morning Tuesday morning at 2 a.m. so we can uh, get a Get a wriggle on with his uh, his story arc. What is it? 7.30. Mm, I was kind of hoping it was a little bit later than that, to be honest. I'm going to have another quick shower. Quick pee. I'm going to try and get all the bars to the minimum. Obviously not the fatigue one until I go to sleep, but uh, get everything else down as much as I can. Have another smoke. I swear Topless Gun has tuned uh, your character's stress, though. He gets stressed so quickly these days. So easily. You know? Like, I can understand my character getting stressed on the way home from uh, Timo's with the car on the back. I can kind of understand that. But, you know, for anything else, it's like, come on, man. Come on, man. Come on, bruh. Come on, bruh. Anyway, alright. Uh, I'm going to leave that on. I'm going to give it a go. Um, actually, I better prepare just in case, because... I'm pretty sure the car is okay, but I want to make sure. <laughs> right, pull the choke out. Let's turn her over. Actually, it's been a little while. It's been a couple of days. Come on. Okay, you're idling all right. Yep. Okay. That sounds all good. I suppose the only downside... Actually, I might turn her off. The only downside of picking up Kill You Guy in the Satsuma is the fact that you have to wait ages for it to warm up properly. So, I am... I'm thinking, if he does ring, we'll pick him up in this. Because this does warm up a bit quicker. So, I might... Hmm, I'm trying to think... Yeah, I'll drive a... There's a little gap there. I'm pretty sure I've got batteries for my torch. Where is my torch? There you be. Alright, cool. Um, there we go, turn it off. Uh, okay. Um, yeah. Actually, I can leave that there then. That's fine. Okay. Um, I will turn... That light on real quick, and this light on real quick. Actually, I don't even have to move the van, do I? What am I thinking? Just leave it, whatever. <laughs> Actually, fuel. Fuel, fuel, fuel. Plenty. Alright. There we go. Alright, so yeah, I guess that's the plan. Go to bed. Hopefully, Kiwi Guy gives us a buzz. If he doesn't, I'll just end the episode. Doesn't bother me. Uh, I've been playing for a bit anyway, about 50 minutes. Nearly an hour, um, and I would like to get something. Whoops, <laughs> I'm so used to turning it off. So the phone's definitely on. Wee, it's in infinite zoom mode again. I hate it when the game does that. Let me know if you play it, play this game, and that happens to you when you hit R to zoom and it just stays in zoom mode like that. But anyway, uh, yeah, I would like to get some sleep in real life as well, because I, like I mentioned before, I am recording straight after oh, work. So, yeah, yeah. oh yeah, 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 ring. You son of a bitch. What's going on with you, dude? What is going on with you? It's li it's literally been like... This is like the third week since he's rang and it's 4 a.m. So you know what? <laughs> you know what? Can't even speak now. I'm going to leave episode 25 right there. Uh, at least I said... Like earlier... What, like I said earlier. Now I'm getting all tongue-tied. Seriously, guys, I'm tired. I've just worked eight hours. It is currently... I think I said it was 5 a.m. before. That is totally wrong. Because I'm looking at one of my watches and it's like... Obviously, not at the correct time. Because <laughs> uh, it is currently daylight savings here as well. But, uh, 
It's a little little after 7.30 in the morning after I've been working. All night since, what, about 10 p.m.? No, I think I started at 9.30 today, last night. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. You don't give a shit about those details. The point is, is that I'm tired. I need some sleep. Um, and like I was trying to say, like I said before, um, at least I've done two things in this video that I've wanted to get done. So that's a good thing. Uh, let me know in the comments if you're still enjoying the playthrough so far. Let me know also in the comments if you have been watching from episode one, if you're an OG viewer of my playthrough of My Summer Car in 2022. But if you did enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Subscribe to the channel for more content. Make sure to hit that notification bell for said reasons. And I'll catch you in episode 26. Adios.